with. Now you see, the minute we tell him he hasn't got a brain, we're thinking we're, we're going to be smacked, don't we? Yeah. So we've got to we've got to be careful. Confrontational, confrontational might be necessary, but it's not something we want to move to. Wouldn't be an area that I would recommend you get into straight away. That's what ends up with a police caution. Okay. Cathartic, that's a very difficult one. And sometimes you fall into cathartic consultation by accident. Okay? You know? But sometimes they happen. Now, those are probably even more difficult to manage than, than confrontational. Because usually you fall into them by accident and then you have to get yourself out of it. Listen. I know you haven't got a brain, but I didn't mean you to get upset. Please have my hanky now. Please do. Yeah, I know. I know you haven't got a brain. Please stop crying. Okay. Very difficult. Not what we want. But sometimes, sometimes people, people once they've been able to express themselves, and, 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 and frequently it is, it is anger, but it can be just hysteria, right? Once they've got that out of the system, they can then begin to and sometimes you're imparting some pretty awful information. <coughs> and then, of course, the last two. Catalytic, well, of course, that's a word we are all familiar with, being the catalyst, you know? <coughs> Helping the patient. So how do you feel about having no brain? <laughs> you said chemo. Would you like to go away and consider what difference it's made to you? And then, of course, the last one, which again, this supported. Now look, lots of people have got brains. You're in a room full of people who have got brains. Do not get upset about it. You're a good human being. Yeah? So there's six categories straight off that you can begin with. Now none of these models, none of these models are exclusively the right model. There isn't a right model. And the more you know about models of consultation, the more you'll be able to recognize elements within them when you're holding the consultation. And you'll be able to say, I could do with just giving this person a bit of support. I could do with giving them a bit of a hug. Right? Sometimes that's quite difficult. But, you know, I, I often tell students that I have spent years of my life just holding hands with my patients. And that's not easy, is it? But sometimes, sometimes what happens is a patient will come in, a patient will come in, you'll be sitting down chatting, and they'll say to you, <laughs> I've never noticed your eyes before, though. Um, they'll, they'll say to you things like, like, um, you know, he's not very well, really. And you say, not very well. Well, no, actually, we... we